Hi, y'all. It's Nina with Passion Squared with this week's episode of Q and Awesome. This week, we talk about referrals and word of mouth. Um, I have been getting a ton of questions this week, particularly in my A school group, about how do we increase referrals and word of mouth and ultimately traffic. And, you know, I wish there was an easy answer, but it is a simple answer. And we really need to look at both our online activities and our offline activities. And it really comes down to three things. How much do we really care? How consistent are we? And what communications tools are we using to help generate those referrals and word of mouth? So offline, we can look at what programs are we running? What dialogue are we running? Are we consistent with that dialogue and those programs? Is there signage in the salon? Um, Online, we can look at online referral platforms. Talk about Yelp a lot, and you can hate them if you want, but Yelp is by far the number one online referral platform. And as I always say, awesome offline experiences generate awesome online reviews, and that is incredibly true. So when we look at our online systems, it's the same thing. How badly do we want it? How much do we care? What communication systems are we using, and how consistent are we? When we look at dialogue for consistency, whether it's online or off, When it comes to referrals, everyone has to kind of own their own dialogue. It has a lot to do with the brand and your voice and all of that. But the bottom line is, is this is the dialogue that I use. And this is dialogue that I've heard used a lot that really works. Um, We would love it if you'd share your experience. Your experience matters to us. We would love it if you shared your experience on Yelp. Your experience matters to us. We would love it if you shared your experience with your friends. Your experience matters to us. We would be so honored if you shared the love with your friends and family. Your experience matters to us. We would be so honored if you shared your experience on Yelp. And you think about all the different touch points that we have available to us to have this dialogue, whether it's in the footer of our email campaigns, whether it's signage within the salon, whether it's copy on our website homepage, whether it's part of our social content strategy, whether it's giving clients shout outs and thanking them for their referrals and their kind words that they've shared. There's several different ways to approach it, but the bottom line is we have to be committed to caring enough to really want to implement a communication strategy and system consistently. I cannot stress that word enough. We get so super excited and we're like, yes, we're going to do this. And then three days later, it's like, wah, wah, wah. Where did the system go? It was never a system. It was just we got excited for a second. So how do we get referrals and word of mouth? First and foremost, we deliver an awesome experience. Nothing can replace actually doing really good in the experience area. Um, And that's just not your haircut or your workout or whatever business you're in. That's about the entire experience. How much do we care? If we care bad enough, we're going to get it. What communication systems do we have in place, both online and off? Look at all those touch points that we have available to us to communicate. And then lastly, consistency, guys. Nothing replaces it. I wish there was a magic pill, and there isn't. Um, The magic pill is consistency. And I promise you, if you create systems and you create dialogue, and you stay consistent with it, you will begin to generate word of mouth and referrals. Again, if you're delivering awesome experience. Thank you so much for the questions, guys. And for watching Q and Awesome, you can tweet me at, at Passion Squared 2, hashtag Q and Awesome, and ask me anything. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, guys. Mwah.